YouTube, what's good with y'all boys, man? We are back with another video, and today we're gonna be talking about my upcoming car plans, bro. Like, what do I got planned for this car? Am I gonna swap it? Am I gonna trade it? Am I gonna mod it? Am I gonna tune it? What am I gonna do? And you guys know about my unreliable lemon, and that is my Honda, and we're gonna talk about what I'm gonna do with that car as well. So, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, go. So first, we're gonna talk about the 340, man, because initially my plan was to trade this car in. I was reverting it back to stock. As you guys know, I recently got my interior done, and it looked just like it did when I first got it. And the main reason I was doing that is because I obviously I plan on getting rid of it. I was gonna put all my stock parts back on, trade this car in. But I do feel like I've said this in plenty of videos before. Before I actually get rid of this car, I do need to tune it and have that experience. So I decided we're gonna do a round two, kind of like a refresh. So I'm gonna take this wrap off, do a new wrap. I'm going to get a different wheel set up. I'm not going to go low pro profiles. Low profiles. I don't know why I said it like that. But I'm not going to be doing low profiles. I'm going to be running more of a meaty tire setup. I'm probably going to go back to 19s, if not 18s. And I'm going to tune it. And I want to really do more performance mods with the car. Because you can't get one of these cars and not do those type of mods. And my warranty has recently like ended. So I decided no time like today. Or no time like the present. I think that's what it said. But either way. We're going to go with more of a performance setup for this car. And while we're talking about trade-ins, I'm going to tell you guys the cars I was considering. I was really stuck between going G82, the M4 competition. I didn't really care for it to have X-Drive or not, to be honest with you. That's not really a deal breaker for me. The one thing that I truly wanted was lasers and blue or orange interior. As long as it had those things, I was like completely happy. And if I'm being honest with you guys, a comp wasn't even a big deal to me personally, but that, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it wasn't a comp, that wasn't a deal breaker. But of course, if I could get it in the budget, then I prefer the comp. And then the other car I was looking at was like a C63 or like a C63S, depending on how it was specced and everything like that. Because the main thing I wanted in that car was really just the LSD. I wanted the S just because of the LSD. I didn't really care for the higher speed limiter or like the um, stiffer suspension. That wasn't a deal breaker for me. I just really wanted to know that it had an LSD. And those cars are still cars that I'm considering, but I decided I'm gonna save a little bit of money, have a little bit more fun with this car and um, replace my Honda instead because I was gonna put some money down, replace this car and go get one of those two options, which are still cars I'm highly considering. I'm just pushing it back a little bit. So I wanna save a little bit more money, focus on my business a little bit and then It'll be time to make that type of upgrade. But now let's talk about that Honda. Cause that car has been giving me problems for probably like a year straight now. Like it's been giving me problems so consistently I can't even get the car inspected. Now what do I start? What do I start? What do I start? Alright, so with the Honda, pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be trading the Honda in for an American muscle car. I wanted me another American muzzle car for a little while now and I felt like since I'm already having problems with that car and I plan on getting rid of it I was like why not get rid of it for something that I want and the money that I was going to put down with this car not not all of it but you know what I'm saying a decent amount so I don't have a crazy payment and I want to be with any car that I have my goal is just to make sure I have equity and I can get rid of the car whenever I feel like it. everybody's like pay it off pay it off you don't own any cars you want to make sure that you can get rid of that car whenever it's necessary with ease that's my goal you know like of course paying off cars having to pay it off car is great but long as i have equity i'm happy to be honest because i can sell it and i can get rid of that car whenever i need to a lot of people stress owning the car because i don't think they understand that you can sell cars with a loan on them and long as i got equity and i can get rid of the car and that's my top priority so i do um the honda is paid off so i am gonna be getting rid of that car and getting an american muscle car putting a little money down and with both of those two things paid off a little bit of money the car that i get should be almost paid off if not paid off depending on what i end up choosing but i do want some one american muscle car just i don't know man i miss having a v8 i really do so that's kind of what i got planned with that you guys let me know what cars y'all think i should consider i am considering getting like a challenger or maybe like a camaro because i truly do want a coupe I've considered a Mustang as well, but I'm not too committed to that idea and I don't want to say I'm going to get a Mustang and not do it. But I am curious. I am going to test drive one just to see what it's like. But I am thinking a Challenger, Camaro, or a Mustang. The only car that I don't have to worry about getting stolen would be the Mustang. So, you know, that makes it a little bit more higher on the list just for that peace of mind. But 
I don't know. I'm not really too committed on what I'm going to get. This is just an idea that I'm having, but I know I'm getting rid of the Honda for sure. And I am going to get an American muscle car, bro. It's going to it's gonna happen. Like, this just has to go down. Y'all get what I'm saying? We need another V8 in a rotation. So, but y'all let me know what y'all think I should do down below. And y'all let me know what's some good like performance mod obviously i know i'm gonna get a downpipe in tune i don't know if i'm gonna go um mhd or i think it's like bm3 i believe for the 340. i haven't really done all my research tuning wise but i definitely know it's coming soon it's on the way man so y'all expect some performance mods soon and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video i appreciate y'all for watching make sure to like and subscribe man